Okay, so a lot of you guys have been asking me how can you use trap wires in this simple video. This is probably the most requested video I got so far. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining how you can use trap wires and his cyber cage effectively and in defense and offense. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment. And this is Fat Man. Now, trap wires are one of the best things in the game for Cypher, basically. Um, tri trap wires can be placed, simply be placed to the walls, and they can also be placed basically vertically. All through, I don't recommend it, because in what scenario is the player gonna, you know, walk through here when pushing, other than going horizontally? So, for example, this way. Now, trap wires on defense are huge, like they daze the target, right? So, what basically happens with trap wires is when a person pushes, um, they will reveal a player's location if triggered. They have they can destroy it in um, pretty fast, but if triggered, it can have a devastating effect. It basically dazes them so hard and pushes their location, even if they're in, it's in smoke. Um, it basically has a big advantage. Um, now trap wires can be placed either like on defense or on offense. So what I really like about trap wires, they don't have just one scenario. So it's not like Oh, they're going B? Oh, let me place a trap wire so um, I know if they're pushing. Um, the thing with trap wires is it can actually prevent, you know, pushes. So, for example, I'm using this map because it's the best one. Um, but let's say, for example, you're watching Heaven on B, right? And if you place a trap wire over here, um, and the player is not gonna... Probably not gonna jump over here, right? So let's say I'm gonna place it over here. Just a simple scenario. Bam! He's gonna activate the trap wire, he's gonna be dazed. I'm gonna be walking, be watching right over this way, um, and I'm gonna see a player start shooting it and killing him. Um, and I definitely think that's a huge advantage. That's basically a free kill, right? Um, now trap wires on offense. Let me just switch the side here. Uh, can I swap the team? Okay, never mind. I can't swap the team. But trap wires on offense can be a huge advantage as well. Because what basically trap wires on offense do is they prevent certain pushes. And not only that, they also have help at spike plants. So, for example, if I on attack place a, a spike here, for, for example, just imagine this being a spike, right? Um, uh, you will basically see if an enemy is coming from this side and in that way this is gonna save you a lot lot of time if you're basically watching let's say heaven for in here for example and in that way you can watch heaven over here while you have like two trap wires that's pretty huge that's like two players watching a corner now trap wires can also be destroyed so that's the only disadvantage of trap wires <laughs> I accidentally won right there, but um, you get the idea. Um, now trap wires on defense are best used for certain pushes as well. So let's say for example, I'm gonna, you know, spawn here. This is actually great that we spawned over here because then I can uh, make a good tutorial. And I want to place a trap wire for a push, right? And usually people know that it's gonna be here or something like that if you're a cypher. So if I place it here, um, you will know if a, if a player is hiding over here. So if, uh, let's say for example, I'm on this side, okay, and uh, there's a player on that side, and uh, the trap bar is uh, basically uh, activated, and he's dazed, you can basically kill him from here. That That is huge. That is like, um, for example, I'm gonna buy an AK in this round, right? I can fire through this, I can actually kill him, if there's no enemies over here, of course. Um, but it has a big advantage in actually getting a... Uh, a lot of uh, map control, which is a huge right now. Like map control in this game is 10 out of 10. Um, this is the next big thing to information because map map control and like trap wires can buy you a lot of time. And with a lot of time, I'm pretty sure you can prevent even spike plants. So um, the only disadvantage of trap wires as well is they can be placed anywhere, and they can also have bad plants. For example, this is a bad plant. Um, usually, um, enemies will just plant a spike over here. So you, you, you don't really need a trap wire over here. There's a really small chance they will wait behind here or something like that and activate it. So you want to place trap wires really effectively in that manner. Um, so as a defender, um, personally, I would on this map spot, I would p put it over here would be pretty nice. Um, they won't be expecting this. Um, over here would also be nice, just so you know if they're pushing your spawn, right? Um, 
and on this is basically on attacker. On attacker, that's that's a god tier spot. But on the defender, um, you can place them a bit more um, af aggressively. Um, you can place them a little more aggressively, which basically means that um, you can you know place them even at the start of the round. So before the round starts, you can place them over here. Um, now the next thing I want to talk about, um, I'm gonna go back to uh, trap wires. Um, they're pretty great. I want to show you this little trick I have found on Reddit. Here we go. Look at this. <laughs> this looks pretty cool, huh? And they can never destroy it from this side, actually. Look at this. It's, it's a good bug. They can only destroy it from this side. And they have to pick anyway. Um, this is this is like a reward for you for watching until now. Um, but the next thing I want to talk, talk about is cyber cages. So I see cyber cages as two points. In defense, they're a great way of actually... Um, buying you time right um, but on so cyber cages are pretty good on defense for actually buying you a lot of time um, for example you can either play them aggressively or defensively um, this really depends on you actually because the thing with trap wires in reality is I mean cyber cages is cyber cages are mostly dealt as defense defense but they after the spike plant they're huge like on attack they're not that useful right you usually won't use cyber cages unless you get a spike plant, but with a spike plant on, they will buy you a lot of time. They're basically like smokes. They're, they're not, in, I don't see them as anything else as a piece of a smoke. So if we read the description, instantly toss the cyber cage in front of Cypher, activate to create a zone that blocks vision and slows enemies who pass through it. Um, this is basically a smoke. And these smokes can be placed anyhow, look at this. Um, it has a huge advantage right now. It, it buys me like 15, 15 seconds, I'd say, at least 15 seconds um, before the post starts. So if it's less than 45 seconds and you have two cyber cages, if you play defensively and they're going B, you're basically gonna win the game um, because they won't have enough time. Or they'll have to push and you can just spray fire and get free kills. Um, the thing with um, cyber cages is that they're not good as trap wires. Trap wires are great because they stun the target. Um, these are just some more additions to smoke um now i wouldn't recommend actually I, I would use just camera as the way this you'll basically learn how to use the camera for example um the camera can be used in a lot of situations um but there's no but with trap wires and cyber cages you have to actually learn how to use them um now would i say that the cyber cage is good on buying on offense nah not really um the best thing you can buy is actually trap wires um, and maybe I say some light shields and stuff like that. I buy the weapons first, then I go for trap wires. And then uh, the last thing, if you have enough cash for it, is cyber cages. The thing with cyber cages is that they're super cheap. That's what I really like about cyber cages. Trap wires can win the game, but cyber cages can hold up the opponents so you can survive for longer when planting a spike. If you don't get a spike kill, are, are, you know, are they even good? Um, the good thing is they can be, you know, um, activated from afar. You don't even have to look at them. So, for example, let me, let me um, just look at this side. See, it's triggered, um, and this can buy you a lot of time. I didn't know that at the start, and I think this will help you a lot. Um, this will, this will be very good for you. For example, if also you don't have any cyber traps, um, you're watching heaven or something. Uh, what, whatever it's called, B rafters. Bam. See, I have another 15 seconds over here just because I was watching that side. And the thing with Cypher is it's um, one of the best player. I, I don't know how much competitive play it will see. I don't think it's going to be that much as we expect. Because the thing with Cypher, it's very situational. So on attack, it's not that good as on defense. Um, hopefully, I can go more into trap wires. But the thing with trap wires, um, they're kind of... Strap wires work both on attack on defense because they can prevent massive pushes and these massive pushes can basically change games and economies um, the, And the cyber cage ah, Cyber cage is like a, if like, like I'm gonna say the rate them one to five for example And for that example, I'd say the cyber cages are right now a four You can't place them anywhere and their horizontal is pretty shit. Look at this. You're, you're never gonna use this. Look at this I, I, I don't know, I, I mean, usually people will see it where it's triggered, right? So they'll just shoot below or above. Um, 
Now, there, these, these are only like good when um, actually holding points, so this can buy you some time, you know, spray fire through here, or even on attack, on, even on attack it can, you know, if you have a player less or something, if they died, you know, let's say you're, let's say you're coming from attack, I'm just showing you this map because it's the easiest, um, th this could be, this could be actually a bit slightly offensive, but you get the point, and you can go up the balcony without getting sniped or something. And let me know if you want more videos on this, on Cypher, because um, definitely, I'm definitely up for it. I main Cypher, so I'm gonna make a few more videos if Valorant starts working for me. Anyway, this is Fatman, signed out. Peace, guys.